All right, it's the day after election day and is an absolute wild day out there in the market. We've got three big stories to talk about. We're going to talk about the confirmation of the metal layoffs. We're also going to talk about Trump Truth Social not doing very well today. They're being taken over by a SPAC. Um, and then we're going to talk about crypto because Bitcoin is uh, not looking great to say the least. But without further ado, let's jump over and talk about the layoffs at Meta. In a letter to investors, Mark Zuckerberg announced that Meta will be laying off around 13% of its staff or around 11,000 employees. So this is a big deal for Meta. They're cutting costs like crazy. This is something that the Wall Street Journal actually leaked this past weekend. So on Monday, Meta platforms uh, actually performed pretty well. But let's jump over to the charts and see how Meta is doing today. You can see right there, Meta platforms trading under the ticker symbol META is up almost 6% on the day. But year to date, guys, this stock is still down over 70%. So let me know how you feel about this news. Are you are you excited? I know uh, uh, some of you are. One of you commented saying you're, you're excited that Facebook is laying off their woke employees. But again, uh, as I said before, if you don't have a soul, let me know down in the comments if you're excited about people being laid off, especially 11,000 high paid people. And, and uh, maybe you like this idea. I, I really don't. I, I don't like seeing people lose their jobs at all. But on another note, uh, people losing their jobs or getting jobs, um, election day just happened yesterday. And we don't quite know where uh, the control of Congress is going to fall. So the, the major indices are all down today uh, drastically. Um, and one company that's really being hit hard is the SPAC DWAC. That's the company bringing Trump's social network, Truth Social, public relatively soon. Now, the reason for this is that the candidates that President Trump did endorse uh, didn't do super well. About 50% of them lost and 50% of them won. So that wasn't a great showing for President Trump. But let's jump over, take a peek at the charts for DWAC real quick. All right, so today DWAC is down 15.5%, but it was far worse than that. At one point, the stock was down, I believe, over 20%. Year to date, though, uh, pretty similar to a lot of the stocks out there, down almost 46%. So let me know how you're feeling about, about this company. Are you invested in DWAC? Are you someone who's been buying ever since they announced that they'll be taking truth as social public? Let me know how you're feeling. Are you buying this dip? I don't know. I want to hear from you down in the comments. Guys, finally, I want to talk about cryptocurrency because it's crazy, right? Right right now, Bitcoin is trading below $17,000. That hasn't happened for almost exactly two years. Uh, almost exactly two years today, actually. Um, and this is because FTX announced that they are being purchased uh, by Binance. All of their non-US operations is being purchased by Binance. Now, Binance was a big investor in FTX, uh, but at one point, they were raising money at a valuation of $36 billion, and a lot of their capital is tied up in their FT, FTX token. And their FTX token has fallen over 80% over the past several days. And a, a lot of cryptocurrencies are losing a ton of value. But I want to jump over, take a peek at the charts here for uh, Bitcoin specifically, because it could get worse uh, over the next couple months. Like I said, BTC uh, trading down, you can see that right here, almost 10% on the day, below 17,000. But again, we've got to go back all the way to November of 2020 before we see prices this low. Now, pretty much every four years, Bitcoin falls. So if you've been holding BTC all year, uh, it probably wasn't a good time to hold. Uh, but if you've been buying, it may be a fantastic time to purchase BTC right now. But there could be more pain ahead. There probably will be more pain ahead. Now, uh, Bitcoin goes on these trends. Usually every four years, we'll see a big fall in Bitcoin, usually around 80%. Now, based on my calculations and Bitcoin getting almost up to 70,000, right around 69,000, 
80% from there is under 14,000 per Bitcoin. So we could see Bitcoin fall much further over the next several months before having a fantastic run again back up to probably plus 100,000 over the next several years. So guys, let me know what you're doing. Let me know how you're feeling. I want to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.